Hey guys and welcome back. I think in our last video we started working on this uh, edger and I told you in the beginning that I wanted to convert it to a trencher if I could. And then at the end of the video um, I decided I was going to wait on it. The thing fought me the whole way and I was just I was just over it. But I decided to go ahead and get back on it. Um, kind of got started without you but all I've really done is uh, I took the blade off here and it was only held on with this nut so it was pretty simple it's kind of tight in there so when you see what my plan is we might have some trouble getting it back in there but we'll deal with that shortly so let me show you what I what I've got so far I just had three kind of random brackets laying around different sizes I wanted to do I initially started out I was just going to do some kind of a, a tooth on on the three points of the blade there and uh, you know I thought maybe let, let me let me stop let, let me say this before we go any further I'm pretty sure this is a bad idea and I'm almost positive that it's not going to work um, but I'm going to do it anyway because you know I want to try it but anyway, back to the brackets. So it turned out the three brackets were three different sizes. So kind of what my plan is, is mount them so that as the blade rotates, start out with this smallest one that I've kind of put a sort of a you know, point on. And my thinking is that, you know, that will go in and it'll start, dig out, and then you'll move up to the one that I have under it now which will widen it up a little bit and then we'll end with this pig here that you know should give us a I'm guessing that's about a one inch wide now again that, that's a lot of drag that's a lot of resistance on that little motor so I, I don't I don't hold a lot of hope for this thing working out but anyway so let me get you in here and see if I can show you what what my plan is I've kind of got that bracket centered I don't know how, how well the the light is how it's going to show up but I've kind of got that blade centered on the bracket and um, the two little magnets holding it so I can try to tack it in place but uh, like I said I'm going to try to do one of those on, on each of the three points of the blade we'll see if we can get that thing back in there I did check the the guard on it and as far as the width in theory they'll fit inside that guard if everything's true and lined up and welded correctly so big if but we're gonna give it a shot um, and before I uh, before I start let me say this I'm absolutely not a welder um, and I'm gonna be doing this with an arc because my TIG, sorry MIG, um, it, it decided to just randomly quit the other day. I, the welder's fine, but I can't get the gas to feed through the torch. So I, I don't know what's going on there. If anybody's got any ideas, I'd love to hear them. But um, the, the welder part is fine. I just can't get gas flow. Um, so anyway, let me get set up and try to get the camera somewhere where you might actually be able to kind of see what I'm doing here and uh, we'll get back on it give me just a minute alright here we go Let's see what we can do I apologize for all the background noise I got the, the heater running right behind us here because it's like 30 degrees out here and uh, my lady parts are cold so and the other roaring you hear is the, the welder so anyway let me, uh, let me see if I can get this thing at least tacked up so we can work with it
much weld on it as I can because, uh, well, when this thing's spinning, I don't, I don't want to die. So, let's see if I can get it uh, finished up here. Alright, I'm going to turn it up. It burns through, it burns through. So you get the idea. I got to do this three more times, so I might make sit through that. Let me uh, let me get those uh, fixed, and I'll bring you back in. All right, so we got her done. Now I think I mentioned that I wasn't a welder, but I'm going to show this to you just in case. You're just getting started welding, and you think you suck? Look. Now, the point was to get, you know, as much as I could on it. So, don't, uh, plus I'm welding the, you know, quarter inch steel to, well, that. So, anyway, if you like what you see, uh, the fifth Sunday of every February, I teach a free class. Now this one's already full, so sorry you missed it. But don't don't let the next one get by you. Uh, let's see if we can force this pig back in here.
things side to side is the problem. I think these made it too tall. So as much as I didn't want to take that guard off, as that may be the only thing separating me from death, I'm going to have to. So let me get that done, get the guard off, and uh, I'll bring it back. All right, so I got the guard off. <clears throat> got this mounted. Now, let me take this opportunity to say this. All joking aside, let's see, already. Um, don't do this. Don't, 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 don't run your edge or, or this. If you, you know, try to do this, don't, don't run it without the guard. It's a bad idea. Um, so it's dark outside, but I'm gonna see if I can get some, uh, some lights hung up, and we'll take it out there and uh, yeah, see what we can see. Give me just a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so after I turned the camera off, I went to crank it up, bring it outside, and uh, prime it up, and it would crank, run for three or four seconds, and shut right back off. So I messed with that for a while, never got anywhere. Um, so now it's a couple days later. I came out earlier, I was messing with it, and uh, I took the valve cover off again just because. And I don't know what's going on with it, but the valves were way over tightened again um i checked them i don't know 47 times before i put it back together last time but uh so i got them adjusted again and it seems to be running um ignore my uh my redneck gas can there uh, the fuel tank for this thing's like 40 bucks and i wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be a complete piece of garbage before i dropped another 40 in it so anyway let's uh let's fire it up and see if it will uh Cut a trench. So the first thing I noticed is uh, we need to put some kind of guard back on it. Let's see what we got. Got to catch some good light here. Um, vicious animal checking out our work. Um, yeah, it'll dig a trench. And I would say it's wide enough for probably a piece of one inch PVC, but it's not incredibly deep. So um, this will probably work for what I need, but uh, we got to figure out how to, sorry, figure out how it works, camera. Um, got to figure out how to get it cutting a little deeper, um, which I don't, I, I don't think that'll be too terribly difficult but as my pal musty would say i'll call that a win just need some tweaking and adjusting but uh anyway guys like i said i, I didn't think it was going to work at all but uh i wanted to give it a shot so there you go there's the shot so i guess in theory you could take your edger and turn it into a trencher anyway guys i'm going to uh to go ahead and get out of here i appreciate you hanging out with me if you got anything out of it um think about subscribing that'd be awesome but uh i will see you on the next one thanks guys